Hello everyone, I am Shada Shara and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn JSP Action Tags. See here, the name Standard Action gives because the tags are predefined and will work as same in the JSP page. Each standard action tag has some predefined logic and it is not allowed to develop or implement the logic for the tag by the programmer. If you see here in a HTML page, there is a, some uh, uh, standard tags are there. If you use the tags, we can use the tags only. It's not possible to implement the your logic. Like that, JSP is providing a, some standard action tags. There is a, some JSP is providing a nine standard actions are there. In these nine standard action, this is the second video I'm going to explain jsp colon include tag if you see here the jsp colon include tag this action tag is used to include the response of one jsp physics to another jsp page at a runtime if you see here this standard action tag is used to include a response of one jsp page to the another jsp page if you see this example, I'm creating a a.jsp. In this a.jsp, I am including the response of b.jsp. Whenever I am getting the b.jsp response, it included into the a.jsp and it will be delivered to the client. Now, in a JSP, this type of including is called as the runtime or a dynamic including. Now, we are not including at a static time now we are including at runtime this is called runtime or a dynamic time including internally a separate servlet will be created for the source and the destination pages and the response of the destination servlet will be included to the source servlet then the final response will be sent to the client if you see internally how the JSP colon include tag works is a separate servlet will be created for a source and the destination pages and the response of the destination servlet will be included to the source servlet then the final response will be sent to the client. Now this action tag is internally use the request dispatcher method request dispatcher class contains include method. If you see here, there is a request dispatcher class is available in that request dispatcher class. There is a one method is available that is called include method. Internally, JSP colon include standard action tag. This include method will be used. Now, now I'm going to explain some uh, few differences between a direct directive include and the action include in there is a uh, one more tag is also available that is a directive contains include the directive include and the action include there is a two tags are available but there is a different functionality in between the directive include and the action include now I'm going to discuss about what are the differences between a directive include and the action include. Now, the directive include, it is used a source code including. If you see the direct directive include, there is a one tag is available directive include. It is used to include the source code. For coming to the action include, it includes the response. Whatever we are getting the response, it includes the response the directive include one servlet is created combinedly for the source and the destination pages just now we are discussing action include there is a one source servlet will be created and one destination servlet will be created separately and coming to the directive include it is recommended to use include directive for the static destination like html but coming to the action includes, it is recommended to use include action for a dynamic destination like JSPs and servlets. Now, the 
directive include the attributes file but coming to the action include the attributes page means if you see here this is the directive if you are if you coming to the directive include if here the attribute is going to file but coming to the action tags in action include if if you see at here this attribute is called page now while including also the the control will be sent to the next jsp page and the control come back within the response of the page while sending the control we can also add some parameters to the control to the next page now if you see if you want to add the parameters along with the response we can use the uh, jsp column param tags the jsp colon param tags is used to include whatever we are sending uh, whatever we are if you want to send the param additional parameters along with the response we can use jsp colon param tags with those whatever you want the parameters now in the forward tags in the last video we discussed the forward tag whatever the forward uh, whatever the request along with the request whatever the parameters you want to send you can use the param tag like that only in the include tag whatever the parameters you want to send additionally with the response just we can use the jsp column param tag along with the param tag uh, along with the response we can use the jsp column param tag to send the parameters if you want to send the multiple parameters we can use the jsp colon param tag inside the jsp colon param tags we can declare the param tag we can send the parameters multiple parameters along with the response now i am going to explain one example on this if you see here now see here i have created a small one small example all these examples are available in the github repository i am put i am pasted the link link in the video description just if you want these projects just go to the video description and get the url and uh, do the practice see here i am creating a simple two jsp pages now this is the one jsp page and uh, this is the another jsp page in these two jsp pages if you see here in this jsp page what i am doing at here is just i am printing welcome at here see here i am defining whatever the font i am defining the font after that whatever i am typing i want to put it into the center of the page that's why i am putting into the in uh, uh, between the text into the center tags after that see here this is the important tag if you see i am using the jsp colon include tag in this jsp colon include class tag it takes the attribute called page page attribute in this page attribute i am giving the page name at here see this this is the in include file action 2.jsp whatever we are getting response from the include file action 2.jsp that that will be included at here in this place internally it will be included at here now along with this uh, along with this res, uh, inclusion i am sending one parameter that is called p1 so if you see i am going to the second jsp page in this jsp page whatever the parameter i am sending from the include file action 1.jsp i am receiving at here after the receiving i am printing what uh, in the center of the screen copyright symbol after that whatever i am receiving from the file one action file one i am printing at here whatever getting the response i am sending it to here now this is the include this is the standard action include the standard action include what it does it include the response of the page now this is the two page 
I am sending the response, the response will be included at here. Means included at here. Now I am running at this program and I will show how it is going to work. I'm going to click on finish. Now my server is already started, that's why it's showing those things. If you see here, something is wrong. Now nothing is there. There is something he problem. If you see here, see this. Now this is the include file one action dot JSP. Whatever the welcome is available, this welcome is available in the include action one dot JSP. Now copyright Sada Learning Hub. This is available in the two dot JSP. Whatever the parameter we are sending from the file one, this is the JSP colon include. Whatever the response from the include file two dot JSP, whatever response we are getting, it can be included into the include file one action one dot JSP. Now I am passing the parameter this one. That's why this is the response getting from the page two. I am included it into the page one. That's why we are getting welcome and at the rate Sada Learning Hub. This is the response we are getting from the JSP colon include tag. Now finally, this video going to the discuss about JSP colon include tag. The JSP colon include tag is used to include the response of the page. Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.